In order to tune these cars, the best method by far today is to use a wideband lambda. Uh, this is much better than using a rolling road for anything but a track car. Rolling road is excellent, it'll set up for maximum power at maximum RPM, but it's by and large pretty awful at setting it up as a road drivable vehicle. The bottom end is really right when you come out from a rolling road. So what we do is we take the downpipe and we're going to put a lambda boss and a plug here and then uh, you fit your wideband lambda into that, run a lambda gauge on the dash and see what the fueling is doing on the open road. You can use red line or you can pull from very low down. You'll see what it's doing across the range, which is what a rolling road rarely achieves. Okay, the first task is to fit, drill the hole for the lambda boss. Um, now what we do is we pretty much put it immediately after the collector. There's the collector, we put it immediately aft, and we have it pointing in towards the gearbox and pointing slightly down. Um, the reason we can accept it pointing slightly down, which of course is vulnerable, is because we only use it during setup. We then delete it and put the plug back in its place. So it's not actually there for very long, and you want it easy to fit and remove. Okay, so first of all, we drill the hole. Okay, in with the pilot, and as I say, we're going on the gearbox side, there, aft of the collector, so that's there, and we're going to point it ever so slightly downwards. So we'll take our pilot there. Open it out. Oops, wrong way. And then our hole cutter. There we go, perfect fit. Off we go to the welding bench. Okay, first of all, let's get some clean metal around the hole. Nice fresh metal and somewhere for the earth as well, welding earth. You can actually do this in situ. Uh, there's all, there, there is always enough room, if you angle it right, to get the weld round the top of the uh, boss there. Um, so it is possible to do this in situ. Okay, so we place the boss in there, making sure it's sitting neatly flush. Sometimes we just have to tap it in with a copper mallet uh, just to get it to seat neatly, but that's gone straight in.
Good, that's my two tack welds to secure it. And everything's looking lovely. Let's go in and finish the weld. And let's just check the quality of our work. Very lovely. There's just a little bit undercut there. Let's go back in and make that good. <coughs> There we go. Delightful bit of welding. Very pleased with that. Okay, next we'll offer it up to the car. Okay, so the downpipe's now in situ. Let's pop out the lambda plug. These are all available off the internet very easily. And it's the Lambda Boss and plug you're after. Don't just buy the Lambda Boss, of course. Okay, here's our wideband Lambda. I'm just gonna put a bit of copper slip on it. And in it goes. Doesn't have to be done up with the strength of 10 minutes, just a little nip up and it's there. And then that now goes up towards the passenger side of the vehicle. There we go. How to rig a Lambda Boss on your car for a wideband Lambda and now we can go to tuning it. Thank you. Now if you'd rather, then of course you can always bring your car to us and we'll do this job. Um, and particularly of course our experience in setting up the fueling afterwards, we have a stock of the typical SU needle varieties that ever go into any of these engines. Um, so we hold that stock, we can do it. It probably takes about potentially four hours to tune a car. Still cheaper than a rolling road though, by quite a margin. Thank you.